nine. Time of 421.95. He's also got the meet record at 427.36. And Thad Ricotta setting a pool record earlier in the prelims with a time of 427.66. And here we go, the consolation final in the men's 500 yard freestyle. As Lucas Abedin is in lane number two, the senior for Middlebury. Chris Weiss, the senior from Williams in lane three. Adrian Downey in lane four, the senior from Williams. Nathan Ives in lane number five, the freshman from Amherst. Will Brown in lane six, the senior from Williams. Mace Molina, lane seven, the sophomore from Connecticut College. Ryan Cassidy, sophomore from Hamilton in lane number eight. And Anthony D. Benedetto. Who's a junior from Tufts in lane number nine. And in lane six, Will Brown, the senior from Williams, is currently in the lead. And Will Brown from Chatham, New Jersey, went to St. Peter's High School. Actually, while at St. Peter's, he was a safety on the freshman football team. And he suffered a pretty bad injury in high school football. And when the doctor told him he really shouldn't have any more contact sports, whether it be football, basketball, or lacrosse, he said that uh, after being a swimmer early on in his life, he remembered that Come on, it was something that he could do year-round and decided to pick it up. And now a senior at uh, Williams, and he has been great for Coach Steve Custer. His best time in this event coming in a match against Springfield a couple of years ago, a time of 4.54.39 for Will Brown. And you see Will Brown in lane six, but right now in lane number nine, it is Anthony D. Benedetto. And Anthony out of Tufts. Swimmer for the Jumbos this year. And Anthony, a junior from Hopkinton, Mass. Had his best time at the 2014 NESCAX last year. Time of 4.41.17. Come on. So it is Dee Benedetto in the lead. Followed by now Adrian Downey, the senior from Williams. Adrian Downey from Kensington, Maryland. Had a third place finish in the 1000 freestyle in a meet against BC earlier this year. There time of 9.57.52. In this event, had his personal best time two years ago with the NESCACs, a time of 4.38.29. Also swam two years ago in the 1000 and the 1650 yard freestyle. For Adrian Downey, you see him in lane number four. And now a good race between Downey in lane four, Nathan Ives out of Amherst in lane number five, and lane six is Will Brown. Nice, Nate. Nathan He's Ives, the lead. freshman from Amherst, over in lane number five from Seattle, Washington. He's a freshman. Got a personal best time in this event at the 2014 Washington State Championships last year. Nice. And running a good race right now here in the 500-yard freestyle. As the leaders get up to lap number 17 now, lane four, Adrian Downey at a prelim time of 439.79. Come on. Come and here's on. your leader, Nathan Ives, second from Amherst in lane five. Nice. They're pulling ahead. His prelim time, 438.88. As the final lap, now coming up here in the consolation final of the men's 500-yard freestyle. You got it, Nate. Go. It is Downey, lane four, Ives, lane five. Those are your two leaders. Over in lane seven, Good. Ace Molina Darn. looking for the number three spot. Ooh, Nate got a better turn. Now after that last turn, Ives on, with a slight lead here on, over Downey. Downey trying to dig in over on, Ives, the senior versus the freshman. And who will touch oh, up first? Yes, it yes, will yes. be in lane number four, Adrian Downey. 
And Downey's time at 4.38.48. What a great race that was. Nathan Ives coming in second. You see his time up on the board here of 4.38.65. Third place going in lane number seven to Mace Molina out of Connecticut College. Who is his enter time? And your top three in the consolation final. We move now to the championship final here in the men's 500-yard freestyle. We will have lanes two through nine running. And before we get to our next event, the 50-yard backstroke, we'll have the award ceremony coming up for the men's 50-yard butterfly. The first, the championship final here in the 500 freestyle. And we'll run down the lane assignments here as Stephen Scappardis, the sophomore from Connecticut College, will be in lane two. Ben Grimes in lane three, the senior from Amherst. Dan Sivko in lane four, a junior from Tufts. Dad Ricotta in lane number five, the senior from Williams. Christian Gronbach in lane six, a senior from Williams. Connor Haley in lane seven, a sophomore from Amherst. Dan Needham in lane number eight, the freshman from Williams. And John Brody in lane number nine, the sophomore from Amherst. Dad Ricotta, the reigning champion in lane number five. And Thad getting out to a nice start here early in this one. Emerged from the pool, one of the last people to emerge and really got off to a nice lead. Dad Ricotta, who had a prelim time of 4.27.66, beat his ne next competitor by well over two and a half seconds. And Dad Ricotta out of Katy, Texas. Went to Katy High School and had a personal best time in this event last year at the NESCAC Championships when he won it up at Bowdoin College's Grease and Pool at a time of 428.46. First overall is teammate Christian Gronbach, who you see in lane number six, came in second in the event last year. And Christian, who had a prelim time of 430.66. And Christian is senior from Simsbury, Connecticut. And back uh, on the week of January 19th, Christian was named NESCAC Performer of the Week after he had a great meet against Amherst on January 11th and saw him break up. Record down at Muir Samuelson Pool in the 1,000 freestyle. And he also posted the league's top time in the 1,650 freestyle that weekend, which was also an NCAA B-cut qualifying time. And shaved four seconds off last year's NCAA championship qualification time. Also had a great run, too, in the 500 freestyle. When you're watching here right now. Thad Ricotta still in the lead over in lane number five. His teammate Christian Gronbach just behind him in lane number six. Third place pretty much up for grabs, but Cam Simcoe, the junior from Tufts, is putting in a good race here so far. Cam Simcoe, a junior from Summit, New Jersey. Had a personal best time last year at the Nescacks with a time of 4.36.12. And he is vying for that number three spot right now over in lane number four. Although, again, very much up for grabs, but still your number one and number two, Thad Ricotta from Williams, Christian Gronbach in lanes five and six, respectively. Steven Scappard is running a good race. The sophomore from Connecticut College in lane number two for the Con College Camels. And his prelim time was 4.36.87 for Scappardus. Scappardus out of New Canaan, Connecticut. 
He had a personal best time in the NESCACs last year in this event. 439.25 was his time. And you see him in lane number two. Lane seven's Connor Haley out of Amherst. But right now sitting in that number three spot. Still your top two are Ricota and Gronbach, both from Williams and both seniors in lanes five and six as the final lap here coming up for both of them. Ricota, lane five, Gronbach, lane six, your two leaders. Ricota with a good turn, Gronbach with a good turn, trying to dig deep with the Shorter strides, but it will be Thad Ricotta who will come in first in the men's 500 yard freestyle. The senior from Williams. And Thad Ricotta's time at 425.93. His teammate, Kristen Grondack, second at 426.66. And third place, going in lane number seven to Connor Haley, the sophomore from Amherst. And his time up on the board at 434.41. So there are your top three in the men's 500-yard freestyle. And before we move on to our next event, event number five of the night, the men's 50-yard backstroke. We'll have the award ceremony coming up for the men's 50-yard butterfly. And we'll have that for you in just a few moments here from Middlebury's Natatorium. It's the 2015 Men's NESCAC Swimming and Diving Championships. And we'll take